What's up, guys? I am here with Chris Bess, one of the founders of the Rust Belt Market. How are you doing, Chris? Excellent. All right, so Chris, tell our viewers out there a little bit of the history of the Rust Belt Market, how I got started and the history of it. Oh, okay. So this place is weird, a little bit strange. As far as the business model is concerned, we had a, a hard time getting funding because we're so unique. Uh, we were inspired by local uh, craft fairs, places that you could experience individuals making things or selling things that were maybe a little bit older or like antiques, what have you. And uh, we thought that should be available on a much more regular basis than having to attend an art fair. And we thought, how could we bottle this and have it available on a fairly consistent basis? So what we are is every weekend, uh, you're able to come and experience that here. We have about 50 shops and they all, uh, you deal directly with them and yeah. their sale is their sale. and. They just pay us a small rent and okay. yeah, it's, it's yeah. an experience. Well, I've seen so many different booths and merchants in here selling different products. How do you choose who comes in here to sell what? Our criteria is created or collected. So you either have to make your product or you have to collect it. So that's a very important distinction in a regular retail experience where most of the things you buy in a boutique um, are imported from another country or made somewhere else, whereas we are very focused on the local uh, maker collector society, if you will. And what kind of goods do you guys have here in the place? Everything from t shirts that are designed to antiques to vintage jewelry to vintage houseware. From the, we have a mid century furniture shop that specializes in things modern. Uh, we have uh, three mainstay artists that are just, you know, if you want to buy some art for your home, they have that available. Um, but it's a little bit of everything. Now, I know you told me before this is your favorite area in the place. Well, this is, uh, this is the back of our stage for our event space. Okay. So we also are a host to weddings and corporate events and um, anything you want to rent the space for, it's available and we try to make it look as pretty as possible. So the decoration's kind of built in. Okay, and so when can people come here actually to enjoy all this stuff? Uh, we're open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And what's the best part about you working in this place, Chris? It's very satisfying to see people succeed at their small business when they take a swing at something and they really make a full effort, um, we allow them to reach a demographic of people that are really into this sort of thing. And when they start uh, experiencing a great level of success, that feels really good for us. And we've had some people leave here and open up stores in Detroit and the surrounding area. That is very satisfying. So the people that have been in here, what's their response been like to come in here? It has been tremendous. It's been really, really great. They love it. They love being here. There's a sense of community. Uh, the vendors are kind of close to each other, so they um, they kind of form little relationships and you know even grow their network even more in that way. Mm -hmm. And so what do you want the legacy of the Rust Belt market to be? I would like it to be a place that people can come to start a business and really see what they can do. You know, see what their idea. They got an idea. They don't have a lot of money just to go open up a store and they can come here and they can uh, Take that gamble, but a small gamble, mm -hmm. and making that a success. And also, people experiencing the happy days of their life, the, their marriage, their wedding, that's really a special thing for me. Yeah. All right, Chris, thank, thank you. you so much for talking to us, man. Thanks we appreciate a lot. that. I appreciate it.